Her daughter's death shocked the community, and now Tabitha Manning, the mother of Peyton Benson, is suing the city of Omaha and two Omaha police officers. As Chase Moffat explains, Manning says the officers planted drugs on her. They're giving the people. We first met Tabitha Manning explaining her emotions after the loss of her five-year-old daughter to a stray bullet January 2014. Now she's working through feelings of injustice after filing this lawsuit two days ago against the city of Omaha and two police officers. When she first came to me, uh, I said, you know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to sue the police for something like this. It stems from a traffic stop as listed in this police report from September of 2013. Manning was pulled over because her car had a light out. Officers learned that she had two misdemeanor warrants out for her arrest and took her into custody. Manning's attorney Bill O'Brien doesn't contest the arrest. The lawsuit focuses on what police alleged once getting her to the county jail. They get her out of the car. They say there's meth in there. It was that easy. Omaha police reports say when Manning exited the cruiser, officers noticed a small bag of methamphetamine next to where she was sitting. Police believe it was hers. Her lawsuit says otherwise, reading, quote, officers tried to get Manning to admit that it was hers, that she had placed it in the police car. She emphatically denied having anything to do with it. She didn't have any methamphetamine with her. She's never had methamphetamine with her. She's not a meth user. She's never been a meth user. Now, a police spokesperson tells me tonight that they cannot comment directly on the lawsuit, but at this point, an internal citizen police complaint has not been filed by Manny, and also at this point, they have not been notified that they have yet to be served of this lawsuit. We're putting live with photographer Kyle Benneke and Chase Moffat, WWT 6 News. The drug possession charge was dropped by the state. Her attorney says Manning's hope is for this case to eventually go before a jury.